Hi, I'm Diane Dayton. We're at the 20th Annual Via Gatlet Burks Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania. We're sitting down with trumpeter Cindy Bradley. Thanks so much for taking some time with us, Cindy. Oh, my pleasure. Now, you've been playing trumpet for how many years? Oh, wow. Well, since I was nine. nine. I started in fourth grade. So. But there's a funny story with this. How did you end up with the trumpet? Well, it is funny. In, in fourth grade, just in your typical elementary band program, they um, gave us the option to pick an instrument. And we had permission slips to take home to our parents. And I actually left my permission slip at school. So I forgot to bring it home. And um, when the teacher was collecting all the slips, I didn't have one. And she actually took the time to find me because she knew I played the piano. I took piano lessons. And um, she said, why don't you want to play a band instrument? And I said, oh, I just forgot the slip. So she said, if I circle the instrument right away, she would order the instrument for me. So I had to think quick, and I just circled trumpet because I knew what a trumpet was, and I didn't know what a clarinet was or a trombone was, so it was really a fluke thing. It was, uh, it worked out in the end, but... So when did you know that you had this connection with the trumpet? Um, it took a couple of years, probably more when I was about 12, 13, and I started playing in a group outside of school that played all jazz and big band music, and I really fell in love with, with jazz trumpet and, and that type of sound. So when I was almost a teenager. Okay. Well, you have your first CD out, Bloom. Yeah. It is wonderful. Oh, thank you. So tell me how that came about. Oh, wow. It was, uh, it was actually a dream come true. I was looking for a record deal for probably 10 years, and um, it was really hard to find a label that would sign a brand new artist that didn't have a following because it's a big risk. And um, Trippin' in Rhythm is the label that actually signed me and gave me a shot, and they hooked me up with Michael Browning to produce it, who's a Grammy award-winning producer. He did George Benson's CDs and uh, Marion's stuff, and so they just got me the best possible team, the greatest musicians, and, um, you know, that bloom came out of it, so it's great. It's, it all came together, didn't it? It all came together, and that's really? what we called it bloom, because it really gave me a chance to just develop as an artist. And, yeah. And I think we're going to see so much more of you. Oh, I really do. The, the CD is just wonderful. Thanks. You love performing, and boy, tonight you're going to be playing with Brian Bromberg. Right. Okay. Tell me about this. Oh, it's super exciting. He's got um, so many people playing in the band, Michael Linkton and Marion Meadows and Jeff Lorber and Chuck Loeb and um, all these just, just amazing musicians. We're all playing together and just had our sound check and it's sounding great, so yeah. it's going to be exciting. I can't wait to check it out. Now, you do some touring, too. You just came back from a trip to Dubai right. for the Jazz Festival. Right, right. Yeah, that was something. They had um, That was through Trippin' and Rhythm. Also, they um, had all the artists on their roster play at the Dubai Jazz Festival and um, yeah it's probably the farthest I've gone to perform before and it was a great festival really really cool experience yeah it was good being there in that environment too wasn't it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah I was afraid You're I was right. afraid to go that far away but it was it was it really worked cool. out yeah now by day you also are a teacher mm -hmm. and what do you teach yep. elementary school band so fourth and fifth graders like when I signed up that's came around full circle so it really did didn't yeah. it yeah <laughs> yeah yep. it really did the trumpet is a very physical instrument yeah so there's a lot involved with playing this right tell it, me more and what is that um, like well kids always say to me i want to play the trumpet because it only has three buttons so it can only play three notes it must be easy but it's actually most of the the notes are produced with your lips with the muscles in your mouth and so there's a lot of muscle building that goes into it. It's one of the instruments that you have to play every single day in order to maintain it and to be able to play and reach certain high notes. And um, it's just a lot of maintenance. And then if you push it too hard, you can injure yourself. It's almost like uh, people have called it being a small muscle, muscle athlete or something like that. But it's one of the most physical of all the instruments. So it's a tough one. How many hours a day do you play? Um, on At average, I would say eight, seven or eight, you know, if I'm really busy. And I play when I teach, obviously, too, but at least between two and eight. You know. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It really <laughs> is a lot. So when you're not playing and you're not performing in some way, shape, or form, or teaching, mm -hmm. what do you like to do, Cindy? Um, I love to ski. Yeah. I like outdoor things like that. Um, I'm an animal lover. I have this dog that I'm in love with. Like yeah. Anyone on my Facebook sees me with my, my dog. and. Yeah. Uh, you know, just, just just normal things, you know, hang out with my friends. And, yeah. but, you know, music takes up most of my life, the yeah. majority of it. Yeah. Well, if we look in the crystal ball, what do you see your future? What do you want your future to be? Oh, what I like it to be? Yeah. Um, just further development of what I'm doing now. I mean, everything that's happened in the last year has been a big change in my life. So just, you know, more festivals, more playing, more recording. Um, we're going to start a second album soon, so I hope there's more growth and 
you know, just just a lot more of everything that I've gotten a little taste of now. Are there any artists that stick out in your mind that you say, oh, I really wish I could perform with them? Oh, wow. There's so many. And there's a lot, there's a lot I've gotten to perform with a little bit, but um, I don't know, too many, too yeah. many, really. There really are too many. And, and there are a lot of great artists that you'll be playing with at this festival yeah. and other festivals I know that you have coming up as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool. How does it feel when you're on stage? You love to perform, don't oh, you? Oh, it's nowhere I'd rather be. I mean, that's, um, I always tell people, like, I don't like to fly. I'm afraid of flying. Actually, I have a phobia. Um, all the travel and all the practice and all the hard work all comes down to those moments where you are performing mm -hmm. on stage. So it's always... Um, you know, it's worth it. That's where I feel probably my happiest is when I'm performing. And your family knew that too early on, didn't they? Oh yeah, they've suffered quite a bit. I always <laughs> they they knew that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, from when I was very young. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you tell your young students? You know, when they're they're trying to learn to play these instruments and what could be the future and oh, you know, the ones I teach are so young. They're mm -hmm. nine and ten years old, and they're interested. They're interested in so many things. You know, they're in tennis and taekwondo, and, and playing their instrument in the band is just one facet of their life. So my main goal is to make it fun and to make them appreciate music and think of it as a positive part of their day. And um, I don't talk too much about the future with them about it. Usually they're not thinking that broad yet, but I just want to get them to love it. So then as they get older, you know, maybe it'll open that door, but I want to yeah. continue with it. Yeah. What's really important to you, Cindy? Take that any way you want. What's really important yeah, to you? What's really important to you? Wow. You know? It's hard to say. Um, it cha it's been changing mm -hmm. a lot lately. I mean, my goals and dreams have always been important to me, too. But, um, you know, my family and people that I care about and you know, just things like that. I've been, been going through a lot of changes where I'm figuring out what's important to me. But, um, you know, it was always music, 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 and it still is. Mm -hmm. But the older I'm getting, you know, family and friends and things like that are very important to me. Yeah. One last question. What would be a perfect day in the life of Cindy Bradley? A perfect day? A perfect day would entail um, what? Sleep till noon. Okay. Maybe one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have a great cup of coffee. Um, record and write play music at night, meet up with a bunch of friends or family, and that'd be about it, really. And I get the perfect day a lot. I really do. <laughs> I have to get up for work. Except for work. I have it a lot. Yeah, that would be the perfect day. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a good time to yeah. me. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking oh, time my pleasure. to let us know a little bit more about you. I wish you so much success with Thank your future. You. I know it's going to be a bright one. I can't wait to hear you tonight. Thanks, Diane. Yeah. Thanks. We're coming to you from the 20th Annual VF Outlet Berks Jazz Fest right here in Redding, Pennsylvania.